Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Dog Details TV. Today, we've got a bit of a controversial subject, ear cropping and tail docking. Tell me down in the comments which side of the ear cropping and tail docking debate that you're on. Breeds such as the Doberman Pinscher, Boxer, and the Great Dane, to name a few, are breeds that commonly have both their tails docked and ears cropped. But why? And is it really necessary or for aesthetics only? Well, let's get into it and find out. Let's take a look at my favorite breed, my breed of choice, the Doberman Pinscher. From the beginning of the breed's development, their tails were docked and their ears cropped. A German tax collector, a night watchman, and a dog catcher by the name of Carl Frederick Louis Doberman started creating this dog breed and this was around 1890. He wanted to develop a breed that was not only capable of protecting him during his tax collection calls and on dangerous roads, but one that could also instill fear in anyone with bad intentions. It is thought that he may have used a breed or two that has naturally erect ears, like the German Shepherd, and possibly another breed with a naturally bobbed tail but we don't know what breed that bobtail came from. But he was never actually able to produce puppies that had naturally occurring erect ears and bobbed tails. However, back when he was breeding, there was talk of an occasional bobbed tail. And even today, very rarely you hear about a puppy being born with a bobbed tail. But again, that is extremely rare. Dobermans as a whole are born with floppy ears and naturally long tails. But Louis Doberman required a protection dog that would not only aggressively defend him against both humans and other dogs, but also needed to look the part. So we do know that Louis Doberman did, in fact, crop the dog's ears and dock their tails. Doing this was meant to do two things. First being to keep the dog from harm. Long tails can be grabbed, pulled, and used to control the dog. Floppy ears are often grabbed, torn, or even bitten off during a dog fight. So a dock tail and cropped ears gave those with ill intent less to hold on to. The second reason is a warning. Cropped ears and a dock tail make for a fierce, confident, powerful dog. Those ears and that tail says, don't mess with me. Given the fact that the Doberman was purposely created to work as a protection dog, cropping and docking were done to prevent serious injury to the animal. Dobermans are still used today for personal protection and as home and property guardians. Those that are pro-dock and crop also argue that natural ears are susceptible to ear infections, bacteria, mites, and ticks. Okay, well, I have had Dobermans with both cropped ears and natural ears. I clean them often, check on them often, and none of them, whether they have been cropped or floppy, have had any issues from that list. I've also heard some say that Doberman's ears, if not cropped, are prone to splitting or cracking on the ends. Again, I've had no problem with that. And I think that it goes back to just keeping your dog's ears clean so they don't shake their head and whack their ears against their head all the time. If your dog's doing that on a regular basis, it's probably your cue to go ahead and take them to a vet for an ear cleaning and or maybe your dog's going to need um, meds for an ear infection. And then one more point that people that are pro-cropping make is that erect ears are also thought to intensify their hearing. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't seen any studies on it, but that is what they say. Pro croppers also agree that all wild canines have erect ears. Have you ever seen a wolf, a coyote, or a fox with floppy ears? Pro ear croppers say since that's how it is in the wild, that's the way dogs should look too. And the majority of dogs have floppy ears because humans developed them to be that way. They don't see floppy ears as being natural. Okay, so in my personal opinion, that is just a ridiculous argument to make. Yes, I agree that humans certainly do breed dogs to look a certain way. 
That's why we have popular breeds like the French Bulldog that wouldn't even exist today if not for human assistance. If you didn't know, for a French Bulldog to give birth, they need surgery as they require a C-section. If they are allowed to give birth naturally, it very heavily endangers their lives. So absolutely, I do agree that humans are the ones that have created dogs to look the way they do. However, if it's the case that all breeds or certain breeds should have erect ears, then they should be bred that way. Okay, so for those who are anti-docking and cropping, the first argument is going to be that it is an unnecessary surgery. And when it comes to tail docking, that the puppy may be in pain during that tail docking, which is done between two to five days. It's believed that at that young age, the puppy's nervous system has not fully developed and snipping the tail is no different than cutting fingernails. But a study was done with 50 puppies and showed each puppy squealed at the moment their tail was cut. Now, ear cropping has to be done between seven and nine weeks of age. You can maybe get away with 10 weeks of age, but that's cutting it really close. The puppies are sedated, ears are cropped and stitched, and then their ears are taped and held up for around two to four months, depending on the dog and when their surgery was performed. The anti-croppers dockers also argue that when you modify these things, you are also taking away the dog's ability to communicate through body language, be it with other dogs or people, and that tail docking does not allow the dog to balance when making quick and sharp turns or when swimming. I'd also like to mention for anyone that is against this modification practice to please be cognizant that just because a person has a dog with a docked tail and or cropped ears does not mean or does not necessarily mean they made the decision to have it done themselves. They could have rescued or adopted an older dog that already had modifications done. It could have also been the breeder's decision to have the tails done and the pet parent would have no say in that. But with those points being made, just a friendly reminder not to judge a person or an individual for having a dog with pointy ears and a short tail. Your assumption might be wrong. But even if it's not, it's okay to disagree, but no need to judge. So what's my personal opinion? Well, I will admit that I don't think there is a more powerful and elegant looking dog than the Doberman Pinscher with cropped ears and a docked tail. They're simply stunning, in my opinion. And if I rescue an older Doberman or get an older puppy from a breeder that has already had them docked and cropped, I would happily take them and tell them how perfect and beautiful they are. However, if I get a puppy from a breeder, I would not even consider having their ears cropped. They are just as perfect and beautiful. So yeah, I love the regal look, but for me, I prefer all natural, and I don't subscribe to docking and cropping for aesthetic purposes only. So what are your opinions on this? Tell me in the comments below. I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching Dog Details TV.